The 6.5 is on the road here in the HP garage here in Palo Alto where Silicon Valley basically started. And we're also here at HP Imagine 2024 where a ton of solutions and technologies from consumer, commercial, print, PC, uh, conference room technologies are all coming together, being wrapped up here in AI. Dan, is this exciting or what? Yeah, it's, uh, it's an event to imagine, and HP Imagine is going to bring, I hope, some, well, you know, it has, and that's the thing is, you yeah. know, we're here and it's ongoing, but a vision of where does all this technology go? We've got the AI PC, which you know is kind of the epicenter of it all, but you've got these PCs, you've got connectivity, you've got print, they got a very complete portfolio, Pat, and I think, you know, being here at the beginning of Silicon Valley, it sort of makes you think, are we at the next big inflection? Yeah, I hope so. I think we are. Not hope so. I think we are at the next. We place. are. Yeah. Yeah. So let's right. talk print here. And I can't, I mean, there's only one person that would be the best here. And that's Tuan who runs the printer group. Tuan, it's great to see you. We saw you at APC. Had a lot of great chats about what's going on in the business. Consumer, commercial, big, big commercial and everything in between. Yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. All right. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Great great to be here. Great to be I at know, the crop it again. It's been a, it's been been a couple years since I've been here. They got the original equipment here. It kind of brings you back to our roots. So totally. Totally. very cool. The logo hasn't changed that much. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, we, we had a chance to speak at APC and, and you shared a little bit about your vision, but this is such a fast moving trend, mm. Juan. I mean, look, in, in a matter of weeks, months, you went from everyone, you know, buying their own GPUs and building to moving them into the cloud to now everything's consumed as a service. Mm. I know you've been thinking a lot about that and how mm. you do your business. Talk a little bit about how AI is transforming the print journey. Yeah, I mean, I, I like I shared with you, I think at APC last year, we were just getting our 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 framing around around AI and, and what we think it could do. And I think over the last, let's say, six months since we've talked, I think we're even more bullish on the ability of AI to really transform the print experience. And I and I really mean transform because I think I think if you look at the print experience and, and I'll share some thoughts tomorrow, yeah. it, it's painful. It's a painful experience. The end result's good, but the the the, the experience, a little bit painful. And so we think there are so many my teams are working uh, over the last few months, there's so many opportunities where we can actually take the the intelligence that AI has and actually, you know, incorporate that into every facet of, of what we're doing to make that experience a much more pleasant experience, a much more collaborative experience, a much more creative experience. And we'll share some of that tomorrow. So why don't we dive into some of the pain points? Mm -hmm. they, they, they vary and um, there's more than, oh, this is, this is hard to set up. There's mm -hmm. a lot more pain points than that. And maybe uh, you can talk about uh, your roadmap for solutions and integrating AI as well. Yeah, yeah. So probably the biggest thing we're going to be talking about tomorrow is really kind of what, what we shared a little bit early on at, at uh, APC. It was around the perfect print. And, you know, it, it, it hits the, when I were talk about this with customers, I mean, they resonate with it. It's like yeah. hey, when you when you print an Excel spreadsheet and you forget to say set print area, right. that spreadsheet goes over 15 pages. <laughs> And you know, and, and for us, we're like, hey, that's what you told us to do. That's what Excel and Microsoft Windows told us to do. Print it over 15 pages. But the problem is we know what good looks like. And we should be able to help the user to say, that's not good. Right. That's not good. And so that's sure you want to do that? Yeah, exactly. You sure you want to do that? And so, you know, Excel's great example. HTML is another great example with the yes. page breaks on HTML. Many times what you see on screen does not translate very well to what's on paper. And I think for us, we want to take accountability for that. We want to make sure we take care. That's exactly that's what AI is. It allows the machine to be smarter. Right. So that our machines can be smarter with AI. And we could say when we when we see a print job, we'd say, hey, you're going to print this thing over 14 pages. Sure, that's what you want to do. You're going to print this. You're going to print all these trailing headers and you know scattered. Is that what you want to do? 14 pages for your recipes? That makes sense to you? So, so I think that's the first thing, and I think that's that's a very small but but very, um, I think easy to understand use case. And then I think you get into all the other areas around setup, around use. We'll talk a little bit about support tomorrow right. and, and how we support and, and how we support printers and how we triage printers and how, because there are many things that can go wrong. You have a paper jam, you've got an error code, all those things, they're painful today. And so we yeah. want to take all that pain out. But in addition to pain, I think what we also want to do is enable a level of creativity that sure. hasn't been there before. One of the things that, 
that we want to do is enable that immediate creation. So put generative AI into our smart app and enable people to create custom greeting cards with the perfect saying tuned to whatever the event they have. And that's another use case we'll be sharing, yeah. demonstrating tomorrow. So I'm excited. I'm excited about everything that we've got to share tomorrow. So, so can you, can you uh, indulge a little bit here, uh, knowing that uh, nothing's going to beat your embargo out, outbound, <laughs> um, you know, to kind of talk a little bit beyond that? Because I think to Pat's point, to, to yours, is like, I think we're getting it with the setup, with the, with the funnels and the basics. And by the way, basics are worth a lot here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've wasted thousands of sheets of paper, you know, having that one column yeah. that didn't make it. <laughs> just didn't make it. And, uh, and it's like, well, thank gosh, I needed some scratch hey, paper. Hey, hey. But like, you know, that, that's so logical. Yeah, it's yeah. so simple. But I think this is a, it, this is a category where you as the, the leader of the business probably wants to remind people there's innovation happening. Yeah, and there's in definitely, you know, definitely. so where are the, what are some of the bigger kind of beyond the obvious? Anything yeah, so, you can, you can. So, you can so like, uh, for example, you know, one of the things we're, we're looking at in, in a big area is around workflow. And workflow and our, our devices, I think within workflow, there's many, 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 many workflow packages out there, but they all exist on that edge between analog, which yeah. is where all the paper exists and digital. And that divide is a big divide. And so our devices more and more are scanning devices. They're digitization devices. And how do you digitize and make sure that you extract the right data? So it's about, you know, a legal office extracting personal information. It's about a shipping, shipping and matching shipping with what's a, what's what you ordered. So um, patient records in terms of all of those things, getting the information you need extracted from paper into a digital format in a smart, intelligent way. That's a huge area where we're using AI. And so we'll be launching a product here with Scan AI that helps co our customers do that. Not only for directly with HP, but also help our channels, help our customers do that. And the channel is a big part because they, they're the, they're the touch with the customer and they need to be educated in how to use those solutions. So that's a big part of what we're driving. And then even in graphics, you know, our large format business in the construction industry, we, you know, we've got a big, big presence in construction with all of our plotters and our, our large format printers, but our, we're launching here kind of a, a, um, construction portal that allows construction, you know, architects, builders to actually collaborate and we're using AI to actually power that collaboration. And so you'll see things like vectorization of analog floor plans directly to digital. And you're like, well, that's kind of cool. Mm. Like you take a, you scan in a floor plan that's analog and then that you use the AI to actually convert it to a CAD file that you can easily manipulate. So it saves a tremendous amount of time and energy. Um, industrial graphics, we shared this, some of this at Drupa. And so, you know, you can run a factory because uh, our large printers are all about production environments, running and batching the right jobs at the right time so that you optimize the use of the equipment that you're investing millions of dollars in that's another AI application, getting the right media. And we even have the AI on robots that deliver media to these printers. It's kind of cool because you can see the factory floor. We set up a factory floor and you could see AI directing the robot to say, I need new paper or different type of paper for this print job. And that has to come next. And so after this printer gets done, the AI robot comes out, loads in new paper and actually runs a different job. And so you can just see the, the automation and the intelligent factory running real time and all that's powered by AI. So when you kind of, we kind of step back, you're like, oh man, almost every part of the printing process, I mean, whether you're home, whether you're in the office, right. whether you're in an industrial setting, you know, can be powered and reinvented by AI. So I really appreciate you going beyond the printing Excel spreadsheets. Mm -hmm. By the way, printing them right is is difficult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we talked a little bit about uh, creativity uh, as well, but but a ton uh, on, on future of work here. Uh, let's talk about what are some of the uh, customer stories or or customer benefits uh, from, it can be either be specific customers, uh, you don't, don't have to use their name if you don't want to, but what are some of the benefits that real live customers who are using 
uh, your products and services today are experiencing? Yeah, so, so one of the products we have out today is our Scan AI. And so we worked, this has been something we've sold within our management service. So I'll give you an example. I'll share this on stage tomorrow. One of the customers who use that, they have 300 warehouses across Italy. Very simple example. They basically scan in all the receipts that they get from packaging receipts. They scan all that in it across our 300 warehouses. That basically gets sent to a central server. It's got AI to match the receipts with the receivables. We've actually seen, you know, a 60, 70, 80% savings in labor hmm. after you put that in versus matching the AI. So real Great. productivity. That's big, big productivity. The, the, you know, the optimization that I shared with you on, you know, the um, industrial printing, the, the metric for industrial printing is the uptime and the production of those printers. Yeah. And so the job changeovers are a big deal. So you want to, you know, if you have a job that's got, you know, two-sided media, you want to run all those jobs at the same time. You don't want to run two-sided media, reload the media, shut the printer down, change media, run something different. So when you optimize the job with the media and the print quality settings, you can actually increase runtime and you get 30% more productivity right. on your equipment. And that 30% productivity Huge. just goes straight to the bottom line because you're like, hey, I don't have to buy new equipment. I get 30% more productivity in my current equipment. And so that's the type of things we're seeing and that's the kind of results we're seeing. 30, okay. 40, 50% productivity. It's interesting, uh, sounds a lot like the AI, a lot of the AI productivity uh, increases we've been hearing about. That's impressive. Yeah, yeah it's good to, always good to sort of be able to visualize it. And I think sometimes people try to oversimplify the business, right? They, you know, they look at print and they're like, oh, it's print, you know, but it's like when you start to break down, like the ability to take physical ob objects, bring them back into the digital world and how that can drive engineering, architecture, manufacturing, it starts to become a really important uh, yeah. trend. I mean, we, we're, we're piloting some of the, uh, the architectural, this, this, um, this workplace hub that we have, this construction hub. And we're seeing, for instance, if you're an architect and you're having to go out and basically just a simple thing of creating a job report, right. an inspection report. It's like, okay, you go today, you go out, you take some pictures, you get some notes, you got your notebook, you do all that stuff. And it's like, you come back, you kind of put it on your floor plan, you create a document. That's a lot of time. Yeah. That takes you a day, two days to do. And what we built is something with AI that can actually can pull all that content together, you know, in a multimedia kind of way, in multimodal kind of way, text, graphics, audio, and video, and you put all that together in one package, and that saves them days. It's, it's a, they're like, well, okay, that's that's a totally way, yeah. totally different way of working for me. So, so, so let's uh, let's uh, wrap this conversation up talking about the hot take. You know, okay. we've talked about what's coming, we've talked about what's happening here at Imagine. Give us the quick uh, future forward. Like, what are you really excited about? What do you think is going to happen in print uh, as we sort of go forward beyond this event? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think what what we what we expect to happen, especially when we roll out these solutions, is that printing should get a lot, a lot easier. That's the number one thing I think we've got to focus on. It's too hard. It's too hard today to do the basics. So we got to solve the basics yeah. and AI can help us do that. And then I think in the home, you unleash, you unleash creativity because AI and generative AI in particular allows you to create content, whether it's photos, whether it's greeting cards, all that. And that's at home, it unlocks creativity. In the office, it unlocks productivity. And in construction, it optimize, construction industrial, it optimizes kind of that workflow. Again, more towards productivity. Yeah. Right, so yeah. that's how I think about the world, and, and I think we're excited. We're just at the start of that future, but I could, it, we, we're more convinced now than ever that it's going to be big. Yeah. So we're excited about that. Well, Tuan, thanks so much for joining us here and during HP Imagine. We appreciate you making some time, and uh, congratulations on all the progress. All right, thanks, guys. All right, and thanks, everybody, so much for joining us here on the 6.5. We are at HP Imagine. We're sitting here in the HP garage in beautiful, sunny Palo Alto, California. This is where it began for HP, and this is where it began for the Silicon Valley. Hit that subscribe button. Tune into all of our coverage here at the event and, of course, all of the content on the 6.5. But for now, we got to go. See you all later.